draw against Barsley, um, always a tough place to come, um, but what do you make of your performance? I suppose if you hadn't have seen the game or been at the game, um, coming to a place like this um, is very tough and it would look like not the worst point in the world. But I think when you see the way the game panned out, um, the way that we controlled the first half and looked, looked fairly comfortable, um, created a lot of chances, got a few one-on-ones, broke them down behind them. Um, and you, went, you go in there at half time and, and as long as everybody does the jobs properly, um, you, you, you expect to, be able, uh, to, to come away with three points. Um, in fairness to them, they never, they never ever give in, they never ever stop uh, trying to play. Um, it was a lot tougher to get in behind in the second half because the wind was with us. So we, you know, we thought we could get plenty of the ball in front of them and we just didn't use it well enough. And, uh, and that's, you know, that, that's the one side of the, the reason why we didn't come away with three points. We didn't use the ball anywhere near well enough with the quality that we've got on the pitch. Um, we made, the, made bad decisions with it, um, went, to, went to cross it, went to play another pass, uh, went to shoot, um, the runs into the box, you know, they can all be better, uh, need to be better and, and then obviously if you, if you don't deal with the ball coming into the box on the opposite side um, then they're going to they're gonna punish you and that's what happened. Have the players in the dressing room said anything about that late goal they frustrated as well? Yeah, of course they're frustrated. There's nobody going to be in there that you know, happy about um, happy about conceding. We had a great clean sheet the other night, and you know there's no reason why we couldn't have kept that going today. But you know you get jobs to do if you don't do them properly, um, you get punished, and that's the frustrating thing. And that's the leveler that, that is football. You know what I mean? You can you can have you can have you've seen it many a times where fantastic football teams have been. Uh, have been punished uh, by by a ball in the box and, and somebody losing a marker and somebody not dealing with a cross uh, and that's what we fell victim to today. Yeah, Ollie Dyson worked very hard today and you know, nearly got a goal as well. Um, how, how much has he impressed you since he's come? He's been great. He's been great. He's a young lad um, and he does so much work that um, you know maybe an older player would know when when and where to to make your runs, but Ollie just does everything. Um, and then you know, coming come to the hour mark, as we did the other night, um, we knew that they would get deeper and deeper, and we knew that the space would then be in front. Um, and you know, were, we were we were we had a great uh, option with Bunny, and he got himself into great areas again. But you know, we just didn't make the runs. We didn't. Um, it just didn't click with the ball. We didn't test the keeper anywhere near enough, considering the amount of sort of breakaways we had, the amount of times we got down the side, the amount of times we got in and around the box. Um, we hit the post and we had a couple of one-on-ones but ultimately we, we weren't good enough with the ball and punished for not dealing with the ball at the other end and then you're going to come away with a point and you come away disappointed um, but you know we, we, we had a good win um, and we put a tough place and got a draw goes without saying we all want the three points you know it'd be crazy to say anything other than that but we have to move on now um, can't do anything about that now apart from learn from it and uh, do your jobs better and um, and we go again Tuesday. Yeah, it's worth noting you've got a few players coming back from injury as well. I think Redshaw, uh, particular as well. When do you expect them to be 100%? It's a bit early to tell. We we got really really unlucky for Robbie yesterday. About two minutes before training was finishing, um, we pulled his groin, and that was a big one for us because you know we'd, we'd done a bit of work and we knew we you know there was nothing really to change from the other night because we performed solidly. Um, so very disappointed for him and us. Um, so I'm not sure about the time scale on that. Jack's, Jack's had a, a really unlucky injury, and he's you know he's not going to be anywhere near it this week. And we'll, we'll assess it again next week. Yeah. Tuesday, Charlie and the FA Cup will be back in training Monday. Yeah, of course we've um, we've got to, we've got to get uh, back on the training ground, and, and that's the thing. It's it's a difficult situation because. Um, the games are coming that thick and fast. You don't want to do you don't want to do too much in training, but there's things to sort out. You know, we need improvement in certain areas. So um, yeah, we'll be back in and uh, and looking to go go and uh, to Chorley and get through the next round of the cup.